What's up guys, Grim here. I am the gift that keeps giving. If you left a comment in the comment section of the last Saturday video that, well actually it's been two Saturdays ago because I missed last Saturday's video, but it's the state of uh, PVP in December. If you left a comment in the comment section below that very video, then you are entered into this giveaway. The last giveaway was anything that you want from the Rift Store as long as it's 5,000 credits or less and it has to be giftable. And the winner of that giveaway is... BAM! Right there! Congratulations! We'll be sending you a message on YouTube just shortly to find out exactly what you want so make sure you check your inbox. This week's giveaway is one of the Nightmare Tide packages, which is the Typhoon Edition. Yes, that means it's going to unlock tons of stuff for your account and give you the, the earring slots. It'll give you the Planeswalker a water profession or whatever it is. If you would like to win this, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this video with your character name and server and make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and make sure that you hit that thumbs up button because it always helps. The winner of this giveaway will be announced in the next Saturday video. Good luck everyone. What's up guys, Grim here. I'm going to show you guys a Tempest build today and it's going to be a PvE version. I know you're what you're thinking. You're thinking all I do is PvP, but yes, this is a PvE version and this is what I use anytime that I do any kind of PvE content. Uh, this Tempest build has a very good flow about it and you'll see exactly what I mean just shortly. All right, so we're going to go right into this soul, and this is pretty much an updated version from what was on the Mana Legends website. Uh, it was a very outdated version on there, and now we've uh, put an updated version here for you to see, and it's going to be really good for all of your Nightmare Tide dungeons and all that. Uh, now, not to say that this is the best build possible. There are probably better builds if you go down into the big time raiders and all that. They, they really have stuff down to a fine art and they'll have every single ability stretched out on multiple bars and all that. We're putting together some macros here and you'll probably t top DPS in any dungeon that you go in as long as you have the gear. Uh, but... Unless you're going up against some steep competition and other people that are DPS, you'll probably be the guy on top. Alright, so as you can see, we got 61 into Tempest, 15 into Riftblade, and 0 into Paragon. Now, uh, if you'd like to see this build on a web page and don't want to squint your eyes at the screen or have to pause the video or anything like that, there is a link in the description below that you can go ahead and click on and view this whole build on a web page. All right, so obviously you fill up the entire tree on Tempest with 61 points. And then the 15 points into Rift Blade, which is 5 points into Elemental Precision, 3 points into Elemental Empowerment, 2 points into Surging Energy, uh, 5 points into Affinity, and that's it. All right, and of course 0 points into Paragon. Now our Masteries is level 61 is Resonating Strikes. Level 62 is Soul Regeneration. 63 is energy reserves, level 64 is e ethereal strikes, and level 65 is fluid movements. And as you can see, we're really focusing on not running out of energy because it's so easy to run out of energy with these builds. Uh, we've really got to uh, put into abilities that's going to save us from doing that. All right, so we'll go right into the build, uh, the buffs here, which is enhanced conductivity. Empower, Way of the River, Electromagnetic Shield, Stormblade, uh, Avatar of Wind, Fluid Movements, and then any Guild or Planar buffs that you want to use. Um, let's go into the macros here. And mind you, all the macros will be in the description below as well, so it would be really easy for you to copy and paste as needed. Alright, the first macro here is as so. And then this is the second macro. Third macro. 
And then our fourth macro, which is our big uh, DPS cooldown uh, that we'll be using quite a bit. All right, there you go. So what's on my bar is, of course, the first macro, second macro, third, and then fourth. And then we go into false repose, which is basically a feigned death. It makes it to where you can uh, fake your own death and all the mobs will leave you. Let's say your group is wiping and you want to go ahead and pop this and pretend that you're dead. All the monsters will leave the area after they've killed all of your group. And then you can go to resurrecting everybody. Very useful. All right, then we got offensive blast, which is uh, AOE. We got Chain Pulse, which is a finisher AoE. We got Jolt, which is a heal. We have Elude, which is pretty much the best leap back in the game for Warriors. We've got uh, Electricity Blast. We got uh, Break Free on a separate button. Then we have Distracting Pulse, which is a interrupt. We got Disorienting Blast, which is a stun. We've got Thunderous Kick, which is a knockback and then we have storm torrent which is a really good aoe all right so how to play this build it's very very simple and uh the way that the macros are all put together makes it to where it just flows really well normally whenever people play a tempest build it's it's rather clunky and it doesn't really mesh well and people get frustrated with it and they'd rather just go to something that's a a melee build or whatever well we're going to make it to where it's really easy for you. And trust me, you can top some uh, charts with this as long as you're not going against some grade A raiders or uh, people that really know how to separate everything out. All right, so with any PvE fight, you normally want to start out with three combo points. And uh, the way that we do it is we're going to cast our Storm Torrent. So that's going to be the first thing we pop. We go ahead and get three combo points. All right, after we've got that, we want to go ahead and face our boss or whatever we're going to be fighting. Now, this is where it gets super simple, guys. Super, super simple. All right, we target our enemy. We start hitting the first macro. And keep hitting the first macro until you get three combo points. All right, now you hit the second macro. Keep hitting it until you get three combo points. Now you hit the third macro and keep hitting it until lightning torrent goes off. Once lightning torrent goes off, you want to make sure that you don't keep hitting buttons or anything like that because you want the full channel to go through and give you three combo points. All right, once you've got that down, you can go back to the first macro if your big DPS burst is down, which is your fourth macro. But if it's up, you want to go ahead and use it. So make sure that you don't use this right at the beginning of a boss fight if you have a tank that can't hold the aggro early on because it will draw some aggro. It is a high, high DPS uh, uh, cooldown. So we're going to go ahead and start hitting it. And this is going to be our wavelength. So you go ahead and hit it and you start slinging the charge pulses and all that. So as you can see, it's a lot of damage happening right now. And I've got K alerts where it shows me how long uh, wavelength is going. But you can just hit it until your next uh, lightning torrent goes off. As soon as the lightning torrent goes off, you know the, the, whole, uh, the whole rotation is done, so to say. Alright, so that's basically it. As soon as you do that big DPS, you go back to macro number one. Even if your DPS, uh, your big uh, macro, the fourth macro wavelength is down, you can just go from the third macro to the first and do the rotation all over again. It is so, so good. Alright, so with any build, I've got to show you how to do the AoE as well. Now the AOE is super, super simple as well. There's basically three abilities that you're using and you're only using two of them almost the entire time. So the main things that you're gonna be using here is Offensive Blast, which will be your combo builder, and then you got Chain Pulse, which is gonna be your AOE finisher. Now you've got a big, uh, big ability here with Storm Torrent. So whenever it's off cooldown, you wanna go ahead and use that, but you know, if it's uh, any time in between, you can go ahead and just spam Offensive Blast and you'll be just fine. All right, so we're wanting to do our AoE rotation. First off, we're going to hit Storm Torrent. 
And then we're going to start hitting our offensive blast until we get three combo points. All right, let's just say that we just now hit three combo points. Let's go ahead and hit our finisher, which is our chain, uh, chain pulse. And then we go back to offensive blast. All right, chain pulse. And now our storm torrent is back up, so now we can hit that. And that's basically what you're doing. Just the offensive blast and chain pulse until your storm torrent is back up. And that's what your whole AOE right there. So this is a super, super easy build and it will do a lot of DPS. So you don't have to worry about uh, since you're macro on several things that you're going to fall behind on the DPS. No, you're not going to. Every time I go into a dungeon, and I'm not a PvE or normally, I go into a dungeon and I'm usually always topping charts, even though I don't have as good a gear as everybody else. Uh, as you gear up, of course, your DPS is going to go up substantially, but it is just really awesome the way it is. And uh, as for what kind of gear you want to go with on this, Make sure that you're going with uh, crit power because crit power is just king in PvE, that's for sure. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure that you hit the thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're a new player to Rift, make sure that you check out the referral link in the description below. It'll give you a ton of cool stuff whenever you first make your account. And uh, also it links me to your account so you'll see whenever I'm on, I'll see when you're on and then once you get max level we can do some PvE together or PvP, preferably for me is PvP, but uh, whatever is fun, that's for sure. Alright guys, as usual, my name is Grim, and I will see you next time.